Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. <coughs> we are going to talk about uh, SDLC phases again. Again, in this session, we are going to talk about coding phase. Okay, this is also known as development. Right. The last session we talked about design phase. Design means you take a blueprint of how your application should look and behave. Then in coding, we actually create the software, the real source code and the binary code. Source code means logic done in a programming language. When you do something in a programming language like C, C++, Java, etc., it is called source code. This is created by programmers, also known as developers. Okay. They can understand the logic in English from the design document, convert that into actual syntax of the programming language. I use the word called a syntax. Syntax is nothing but the grammar. Each language, C, C++, COBOL, Java, C Sharp, everything has got its own syntax or grammar. If you try to change that and do it wrongly, the development tool will give an error. So, developers convert the language from natural language in design to programming language. Uh, assume that uh, your mother tongue uh, is, uh, say, Spanish, and you know English also. If I can give a passage in Spanish, can you convert into English? Yes. Vice versa. Uh, I'm giving in English, and you want to convert it into Spanish now. If the design is done correct, if it is done in the right way, then coding is equal to convert, or say I would use the word not convert, translate. Translate English or whichever language the design is written in to C or uh, Java or COBOL. So coding is a process in which the developer understands the logic in English from the design, converts or translates that to the programming language. Again the efficiency comes in how well he or she does that conversion or translation. Uh, once the coding is done, right, there is something called the compilation. Compilation is uh, again a process where there is something called a compiler. Uh, it checks syntax of the program and uh, produces a binary file, right. This binary file is also known as object code or executable code. So, source code is readable because it is in a specific syntax. Object code or executable code will be in binary and you cannot read it. It's all zeros and ones inside it. But it is an equivalent of your source code. And it is done by the compiler. Uh, again, every programming language will also give something like uh, IDE. It is called Integrated Development Environment. This ID is nothing but a tool like say Eclipse or NetBeans or uh, Visual Studio.net. Using that the programmer can actually type the program or drag and drop the pieces, compile, produce object code and then try to run it. 
and then what the programmer does again remember the first session in uh, software who tests the software I write my exam I myself test or review my answer paper same way when the programmer writes the program he or she will test the same program right that self testing right is called unit testing right so programmer after writing the program compiles gets the object code or executable code then runs he or she does testing there itself then and there soon after the program is created it is tested during testing if they find any issues that means a design says something my program does the other way then it's a problem it's an issue it's a bug right they will do a process called debugging debugging meaning go through line by line in code right then find where the error is okay so inside the code they will go through using the debugger using ide uh, line by line and in which line it is making the mistake they will find out and then they will fix the bug then they will retest it again so developer will add say 10 lines of code compile test it then add another 10 lines compile test it so so developers do many short iterations of code compile run debug right this stuff code compile run and then debug if there is an issue almost in every day they will do it every hour maybe more than that uh, so it is a repetitive process many such iterations are happening with the developers so they code they test they code they test so the coding and unit testing happen side by side they are almost like an inseparable process okay so this is the stage where the software is actually built right actually software is built here in coding but unfortunately before coding design happens then requirements analysis happening project planning happening without those things done in a proper way coding cannot go in a proper way unless the programmer is very very highly experienced and the seasoned but it's difficult so if design is done right coding is a cake walk if design is not right coding is a nightmare if you take many companies you can see almost all programmers fall in age group i say 22 to around 30 right compared to the age of and maturity of a project manager this is uh, very very less for a programmer but for a programmer if design is given just translate if you have that kind of an efficiency it's well and good if they have good analytical ability they can quickly point out the mistakes that they are making inside the program that's why if you take most of the companies software service companies or product companies in most of the countries most of the programmers again i'm saying almost all i would say i should use the word most of the right most of the programmers it's very rarely you will see but still there are people but they will do niche programming uh, even at the age of 40 even at the age of 50 but predominant crowd is between in the 20s not even in 30s how is this possible because let the seniors make proper design document and requirements document let the juniors translate it to programming language and with their sharp nature let them debug and fix those issues 
this is the trick in software industry so coding and unit testing happen side by side then there is one other thing happens before it goes to the testing phase uh, let us say developer A does programs uh, M, N and O okay developer B does programs say uh, X, Y, comma Z and uh, developer Z does let me say developer uh, C does programs P, Q right then there is something called integration testing okay we talked about interfaces right program A may talk to B A may talk to C sorry I, I need to use these uh, terms M and O because I have used this ABC for the programmers or the developers for example program N talks to N M talks to X M talks to Q again I am just giving an arbitrary example assume this is an assumption assume that the design is done in such a way and uh, n talks to y and uh, x talks to q and uh, z talks to p comma q so you are talking about multiple interfaces right m to n m to x m to q z to p z to q better that the developers or who are the owners of this program let a comma b comma c sit together and test interfaces right ideally they are supposed to do one round of integration testing at least hey i give this input here do you get that you are sending the output there from that program am i getting that as an input to me a simple data exchange between two programs development team needs to do that they have to do at least one round of integration testing complete integration testing may be taken care by a testing team but it is the fundamental and uh, vital test that every development team should do together before they hand it over all the programs to the testing team this is called integration testing okay when we simply say testing it is not unit testing it is not integration testing it is something called the system testing that we will talk about uh, in the next session okay so in this session we talked about what is coding what is unit testing what is integration testing compared to unit testing integration testing will be slightly simpler and shorter because you are just going to check whether the data flows between the programs we will talk about how this unit testing is done how integration is done uh, at a later time okay not now this is only a simple information we will talk about these things in detail later thank you